Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the alternator rectifier and brush holder on a Honda S2000. Today I'm replacing the alternator rectifier so that I can fix the common flickering instrument cluster issue that I described in a previous video. I also decided to replace the brush holder while I was at it. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is remove the alternator so that you can take it apart. If you need help doing that, I've got videos that will be linked down below. Once you have the alternator removed, you'll want to remove the terminal insulator. Use a 12mm socket and a ratchet to remove the nut securing the terminal insulator. Once the nut is removed, pull the terminal insulator off of the alternator. Next, you'll want to remove the end cover and terminal plate. Use an 8mm socket and a ratchet to remove the three nuts holding the end cover in place. Use the same 8mm socket and ratchet to remove the single screw holding the terminal plate in place. Once these are removed, you can pull off the end cover and the terminal plate. With the end cover removed, you'll have access to the rectifier. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws holding the rectifier in place on the sides. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws holding the silver voltage regulator in place. Once these are removed, you can lift the rectifier and regulator off of the alternator. In order to replace the alternator rectifier and brush holder, you'll have to separate the rectifier from the regulator. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws holding the brush holder in place. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the last screw that holds the silver voltage regulator to the rectifier. Mine was pretty hard to see at first because it was covered in so much black dust. On the left you can see my old brush holder and on the right you can see my new brush holder. The old brush holder shows some wear but still has plenty of life left even after 140,000 miles. Anyway, installation is basically the reverse of the removal. If your new brush holder didn't come with a plastic guide, you should be able to transplant the plastic guide from the old brush holder. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to install the screw that holds the silver voltage regulator to the new rectifier. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver again to install the two screws holding the new brush holder in place. Now you'll have to install the new rectifier onto the alternator. Line up the rectifier onto the alternator and compress the brushes until the rectifier slips onto the alternator. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to reinstall the two screws holding the silver voltage regulator in place. Continue by using a Phillips head screwdriver to reinstall the four screws holding the rectifier in place on the sides. Next, slip the end cover onto the alternator and move the terminal plate into place. Then use an 8mm socket and ratchet to install the three nuts holding the end cover in place. Use the same 8mm socket and ratchet to install the screw holding the terminal plate in place. The last component to install back onto the alternator is the terminal insulator. Push the terminal insulator around the stud and then use a 12mm socket and a ratchet to install the nut securing the terminal insulator. The last thing you want to do is reinstall the alternator back onto the car. If you need help doing this, I've got videos that will be linked down below. And that's it. Hopefully this video helps some of you out there replace your alternator rectifier. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to see more. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below with a video you'd like to see in the future.